So, uh, the gas hey, uh, you know, one thing that we've been asked a lot, guys, uh, people have bought a lot of ARs over the last three or four years. And one of the biggest questions I think we get is, okay, I've got this AR, now what? And you guys always make fun of me about how uh, lacking I am with gun knowledge. So I kind of want to break down and be fairly uh, simple and walk through a couple things. So I got a basic AR like this. Walk me, talk me through, and kind of explain a little bit more in depth for even somebody like me to understand. What is it that I could possibly do once I have this and I've got this piece of hardware at home? What can I do? Well, the great part is with ARs is everything is interchangeable. Okay. They're Legos for men. Okay. So Legos for men. So the great part is is once you have the two basic components, the upper receiver and the lower receiver, okay. even if you have these stripped, every other component of this gun is changeable and easily changeable. So you can take a very basic gun like this, and you can literally take this exact gun and turn it into one of the most high-end, best shooting guns in the world. Really? Just bolting parts on. Okay. And you can start basic. Now, obviously, once you've shot this thing a little bit, you know, you'll probably start to think about, you know, on this one, basic sight system, if you have an A2 front sight, uh, like either just a flip up on there, not a whole lot. Okay. One of the first things you probably wanna do is upgrade a sighting system. Okay. And with, you know, the built-in Picatinny rail system on here, you can put any optic you want. You can put red dots, 1X optics, full scopes, whatever you want. Those are... And we've got a good selection. Yeah. And, and, our, and, our, and our people here can talk people through that to kind of see what it is that they're thinking about. Yeah, and it all depends on the type of shooting you're doing. Sure. Your eyes, okay. how they are. Um, getting away from stuff like that for the gun itself, the, the top things are going to make a basic AR perform better and more enjoyable to shoot are going to be getting rid of the flash hider and okay. putting a muzzle brake on. Okay. The muzzle brake is going to reduce recoil, make it a lot softer shooting. It's going to okay. keep you on target as you're shooting. Okay. Muzzle brakes, there's tons on the market. We have a big assortment. Uh, this is the PRA Quiet Comp. This is also offered through Terran Tactical. They they choose this comp and they sell it because it's a very, very good comp. Um, and it is tunable for right and left hand shooters. Okay. Um, Atlas Comp, this is one of the most tunable comps on the market. There's actually an inner core that you can rotate each piece on, and then there's the titanium outer sleeves. So you take it apart and you can actually adjust each piece to so accommodate. When you say, when you, and, 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 so when you're talking about tune, yeah. you're really talking about what exactly? Controlling how the muzzle shoots. So when you when you take the rifle and mount it and you yep. shoot, um, when you shoot, if if you look at it, the muzzle will move right. one direction or another, right. up, down, left, right. And right. with the with the muzzle brakes, especially like the really tunable ones, okay. you can go make adjustments on there ah. to where when you're pulling the trigger okay. and it's recoiling, the the barrel in you know, your sight is staying in the one place. You're really tailoring it to your shot. Yeah, exactly. Your you style. tail to your body, okay. how you hold it. Perfect. You tune it to you. That's awesome. And that okay. makes a huge difference in the way they shoot. Okay. Uh, next, to me, is trigger okay. now, there's again there's so many options out there most of the like yeah because I hear you guys talk about dropping dropping the trigger in it one yeah. stage single stage double stage talk what does that yep. what does that mean and one of the base things you can do so if you say you have a trigger like this you're on a budget like man this nine pound gritty trigger is destroying my life one of the very basic things you can do a trigger tune kit We'll make quick work of that. You go okay. in here, you replace these springs with the springs that are in there. Yeah. It's not very hard to do. It takes, you can watch a YouTube even, video, even can you can do it. Okay. We can, same thing if, um, there's plenty of videos out there okay. to walk you through this. Okay. And this right, I most of these will take you down to a four or five pound trigger. It makes a huge difference. Okay. And this is basic. This is a $10 part. Okay. If you want something where you can just knock the pins out, take that out, literally you talk about drop in and the other types of triggers. This is a drop in trigger. Everything is encapsulated inside this aluminum frame. So you take this, you drop it into the receiver, and you push the two pins in, and, and you're done. Giddy up. That is it. Okay. You you are done. There's no tuning, been, no adjusting. This has been very popular. Uh, yeah. A lot of people are coming Drop-in in triggers are very popular. Even most of the very high-end triggers are going to drop in encapsulated triggers like this because the manufacturer is taking the... The dimensional changes of the receiver out of the equation because now they have their own frame all right so they can maintain their quality okay um takes a few minutes there's always 
the multi-piece triggers. And these, again, um, they're the same difficulty as putting a, a trigger kit in. You have to take the pieces out. You can see where these springs are. Right. Those are the springs that you would change with these on a standard mill spec trigger. Okay. Um, there's just a huge variety. Now with single stage and two stage, and that's personal preference. I personally like two stage. Uh, Dave likes single stage. It's completely preference. And that's why there's so many triggers available. On a two stage trigger, you're gonna have the initial, there's gonna be a little bit of pull a little bit of pull, just a little bit of okay. movement with very low weight, right. and then you'll feel the pressure of the trigger, and then that will break. Okay. On a single stage trigger, it's just yeah. Okay. You just put you keep pushing pressure on it okay. until it breaks. Okay. So and that's just personal preference. Okay. Very cool. Um, the other thing, especially for an AR like this one that does not have a, a free floated barrel. So on this barrel, the handguard is actually contacting the barrel here, and it's contacting the barrel here. Okay. So when you shoot, your hand, like the pressure from your hand right. and the other vibrations are affecting the barrel. They're manipulating the barrel. Sure. So accuracy-wise for an AR, like for this particular rifle, you say, I want this rifle to shoot more accurate. What should I do? Okay. You should put a handguard on it. All right. uh, interchange this handguard system with a free float handguard system, which uh, would be like this okay. one. They look awesome. Okay. They're lighter. And then the only point of contact will be at the barrel nut. Mm. So the rest of the barrel will be free floated, won't touch anything inside the handguard. Um, ergonomically, these handguards are more comfortable. Okay. Uh, they're easier to shoot, especially with uh, the more <coughs> modern shooting grips. Right. And the rifle will shoot a lot more accurately. Plus so it'll look cooler, I mean, yeah. let's be real. Yeah, right. obviously. Nice. It's gonna look way better, yeah. especially these. these the and you can still put all your lights. attachments on it. And yep, do everything especially you with this, do. there's key mod. Key mod. And you can get different different attachment. Um, uh, there's key mod. What else? What else can key you mod use? and M lock? Okay. And there's a couple other, you know, proprietary ones out there. But key mod M lock are by okay. far the two biggest. And you can attach anything, anything. you want on there. Great. Um, so most people shouldn't. There's some pretty absurd ones out there. <laughs> so just with uh, just we've gone over what three things really that you can make a big difference with yeah. your AR. And that's what I tell so. people. So if you have a base AR and you really want to transform your AR, it will feel like a completely different rifle. Put a handguard on it, put a trigger in it, and put a muzzle brake on it. You right. will swear it's a different rifle. Awesome. What else do you think, Terminator? Yeah, man. I mean, it'll completely changed the whole experience once you've done those just things. a couple of just yeah. a, just a few things oh yeah for sure because a lot of times uh, that people do think uh, you know they want to know what's new but that's that's the beauty of the obvious obviously the AR platform right. because you can right. come in and it is Legos oh yeah and so, I mean that's a good thing about it too is you don't like something take it off and throw some change it. On there. Yeah, I'm sure you're spending money but but we appreciate it All right. well there's always there's always forms of things to sell the parts yeah Great. Oh, yeah well, Terminator, Forrest, thank you guys. Yeah, appreciate you going over some information. Set this AR for you, but it's fun. Awesome. Let's do it. <laughs> All right.